everyone, I'm Nikki. I'm sitting right here with Doug Kilowitz, the inventor of the oil filter buddy. Doug, can you tell us a little bit about this? I invented this because I was getting my ass chewed out because I was making a mess when I was making oil changes. So when you take and break a filter loose, oil goes everywhere. So what I had to do is come up with an idea so that this is not what you have, and that's what you do have. So, like, how many years did you go through this to make it to where you wanted to come up Believe with this Believe it or idea? not, I started changing oil filters for Warehouser Company back in 1973. Oh, wow. So you so, just got sick and tired of all that and made you want right, to come up well, with something like this. As things have changed, it's not like it used to be in the good old days where you could just dump it on the ground. That those days are past. So you got to clean up your mess. Yeah, codes and whatnot. Right. So and it's getting worse and worse and worse. But it's better for our environment. Yeah. Much better. Yes. Well, this is the lid that we've come up with, and your suction hose, which is from your vacuum cleaner, goes through the top of the lid. And your oil filter buddy goes through the other hole in the lid, like so. Okay. Now, we're going to take this and put it on top of a bucket. This is a standard five-gallon bucket. This part here is a magnetic suction cup. It's got three rare earth magnets with a backing on each one of the magnets that are encased in a plastic. And there's a nice flexible plastic. This bit is honed and sharpened to slice through. Or what it is is it's a uh, drill bit stock. So it's the same kind of stuff that you use for uh, drilling holes on a drill bit. But I buy it in long lengths. This will fit any filter. There's a small filter. There's one with a little bit larger base. There's a tall one. This one's uh, got a, it's a Fram filter. It's got some rough roughness on the outside of it. But it fits it too. And it still magnetizes to that. Right. And I haven't seen too many aluminum filters. So I imagine that they might have some that are stainless steel or aluminum, but, well, Maybe they cost a lot more, so they just don't have them. Mm -hmm. So anyway, when you turn on the vacuum, and you put this on. Now, it takes and makes the vacuum actually pulls on a lot tighter. Well, yeah, I'm going to try that. Comes right off, but it holds it on there. Yeah. <coughs> so, you can use any kind of a vacuum cleaner. Okay, but right here we got a little e bitty shop back. <coughs> and I'll let you take that. She's got the hose, but uh, need the hose? Uh, well, the, this is the same hose fits this vacuum cleaner here. This is a bucket head. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hooks up the sink. You can have that one too. Why thank you. Here's a household vacuum cleaner. Oh wow, it even fits a household vacuum cleaner? <clears throat> Yes, it does. I am very used to those. Everybody's got a bunch of these, it seems yeah. like. Now, yeah. do you have the new bagless one? Mm-hmm, for sure. So, how many of these old ones do you have in your house? i got a graveyard full of them. Yeah, I think i got three of them. <laughs> it happens to fit the same hole in the bucket. So, when you turn it on, it's the same thing. We can make a bunch of noise and turn it on, but it does the same thing. 
The oil doesn't go into the vacuum cleaner, it goes into the bucket. Yeah. So. I would hope so. Right. But in just in case, you can use your old vacuum cleaner, you know, oh. instead of the new one. Yes. But uh, just for argument's sake, because, you know, a woman's always right. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> now, here is a five gallon bucket that has the vent hole on the top and the spigot. Lo and behold, the air hole, the vacuum, or the, that lets the air into the bucket, happens to be the same size. So you can get those anywhere, or? <clears throat> Any place where they sell paint, uh, or oil, motor oil, and they throw these away by the ton. Wow. Uh, they're, they're real easy to come by. But we do, we do sell them, we do have them available. Mm -hmm. Now on this type of a model, what you do is I use like my shop bag. <clears throat> and the hose just goes right over the end. When you put a vacuum on it, it'll just stand up straight and hold right on there. I mean, it'll sit there. Right now, it'll just fall off because you don't have the vacuum cleaner on. I really don't want to listen to it right mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. But it'll suck the oil in there. When you get done, you have all your oil in your bucket. You have a way of capping it off. Now, you can set this in the corner and wait till it get full. Mm -hmm. Or... Before you go and recycle it. Right. So... You know, you might even want to take and suck up your uh, engine oil in your pan uh, when you drain it from your crankcase mm -hmm. and suck it up into here. You can put it all together. And put it all together and then recycle it. And you can, can you use this for all of that? Or just the oil? Uh, you can take and funnel that in. I don't know if it would take and, it would be a little longer process to take and do it with the the oil filter buddy but at least the, your oil you don't have it going all over the place like you do back here yeah I see the difference less cleanup right way or less cleanup or ask to simplify your life uh, have you ever had your uh, old man come home and got oil all over him or been changing the oil in his clothes are run all the time yeah, and you know that motor oil, it doesn't come out. I don't, you can't bleach it out, you can't get rid of it. It just ruins your clothes. Mm -hmm. Garage floor's full of it. <coughs> and when you take off a filter like this and you try to hold on to it, you can't. It's impossible. Uh, you can put rags and stuff around it and, and get with both hands, but it's such a pain on the butt. Where if you got something that's nice and dry and clean, it's easy to hold on to. Mm -hmm. Not only that, as you can see, the line that comes down from it, that's where all the oil is drained out through that line. And that filter's empty. So that's, because I've never done this before, so that is how it used to be. Right, this is what you look forward to every time you broke the filter loose. So if you're doing this all day long, it's opposed to that. Right. I mean, and the thing is, is, do you want to be right underneath that? Because a lot of times you're right underneath that oil filter. It's a bad place to be, especially when it all comes out. No, thanks. And to all honestly, this demonstration here doesn't really give it justice of what it really is like out in the field because in this particular oil filter, you have a half a gallon coming down out of the pipes. Wow. But it's, is it like hot or? It's hot, it goes all over, it goes into the pan, it goes down the equipment, and a lot of times you'll get underneath the hole, it looks like black rain down there. I can totally see why. If you've done this for a few years, or however long you've done it, 20 years, that you would invent yeah. something like that. I mean, that's genius to me. 
Well, I'll tell you what, it sure has made my life a lot, lot more simple. That's what I'm uh, after, simple. Anybody and everybody wants simple and environmental. That's right. And when I get done at the end of the day or at the end of the job, I don't have a bag full of regs to pick up. That, that, that job has all has been sucked out and out of the filter, just gone. Yeah. And if I drop the filter, I don't have oil running all over the ground or all over the driveway splattered. Mm -hmm. The oil's gone. Because if you take and drop that filter full of oil, it just like it explodes and goes all over the place. It's a mess. It's been like cooking. Oh, we better talk a little louder. Okay, the biggest thing that interested me on your brochure was okay. this. If you recycle just two gallons of used oil, it can generate enough electricity to run the average ha household for almost 24 hours. I believe that. That, I, I mean, that. that's the part I like about this. It's you. green, you know. Yes. Recycle everything you get, and they don't just take and burn all this oil. Some of it they take and refrack it. And reuse it to generate for 24 hours of electricity. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay.